Now we will define regions. Click on Regions and Initialization. Again, Converge Studio created four regions in the last step when we imported the boundary.in file. Double click on the first region and rename it Cylinder. On the right side of the dialog box, enter the initial conditions for this region. In the temperature field, enter 1360 Kelvin, and in the pressure field, enter 185,731 Pascals. These initial conditions depend on the starting crank angle and generally come from experimental data. In the turbulence initialization field, verify that the value radio button is selected and enter 60 meters squared per second squared for turbulent kinetic energy. For turbulent dissipation, enter 20,000 meters squared per second cubed. In the species section, click the plus button three times to add three fields. Click on a field you just created and type N2 for the species name and enter a corresponding mass fraction of 0 0.71913. Then add the species CO2 with a mass fraction of 0 0.19235 and H2O with a mass fraction of 0 0.08852. Alternatively, you can initialize species by using the Pull From Boundary option. Click the Pull From Boundary button and select the desired boundary. Converge Studio will initialize species for the region with the species from the boundary that you selected. These species mass fractions depend on the engine equivalence ratio, and you can use this information to calculate the concentration of exhaust products. In the Passive field, Click the plus button to create a new passive, and then click on the drop down menu in the passive name column and choose cylinder. Then in the value field, enter 1. You can initialize the other three regions in a similar way, or you can import an initialize.in file that contains data for regions and initialization. To import an initialize.in file, click the import data from file button. Navigate to the directory that contains the SI8 case files that you downloaded, select the initialize.in file, and click Import. Converge Studio loads the region data. Now close any case setup dialog boxes that you have open. Again, you can download the SI8 PFI tutorial case setup files from convergecfd.com slash download. Now that you have set up the regions, you are almost ready to use the compression ratio tool to move the piston to the appropriate starting location. As a convention, Converge assumes the initial piston position in the geometry is bottom dead center. The compression ratio tool only works when the combustion chamber is closed, so first you need to create surface triangles, referred to as disconnect triangles, to close the gaps between the valves and the head. You must remember to delete these disconnect triangles after you set the compression ratio. In the View Options dock, hide the intake port bottom, exhaust ports, and liner boundaries. Zoom in to have a better view of the gaps between the valves and the head. In the Geometry dock, Click on the Create button, and then on the Triangle tab. Check the Loft Edges Radio button and the Select First Set of Edges checkbox. Using the Edge Selection Criterion and the By Boundary Fence Entity Selection filter, click on the boundary fence along the Intake Valve Angle boundary. In the Geometry dock, Check the Select Second Set of Edges checkbox and click on the nearby boundary fence along the head. Click Apply and Converge Studio will create triangles that fill the gap between the valve angle and the head. Repeat this process for the remaining valves. After you seal the gaps between the valves and the head, 
you must verify that the normal vectors point toward the fluid. Notice that the disconnect triangles you just created are inside the fluid domain. Therefore, no matter which way the normal vectors point, they point toward some part of the fluid, and the correct normal vector orientation is unclear. To resolve this problem, consider that we need to measure the combustion chamber volume in order to set the correct compression ratio. Hence, the fluid domain of interest is within the combustion chamber, so the normal vectors for the new disconnect triangles should point toward the combustion chamber. Zoom in on the disconnect triangles, and in the view toolbar, click the normal toggle button to display the normal vectors. Use the view options dock to hide the head boundary to make it easier to see the normal vectors for the new triangles. Notice that in this case, the normal vectors already point toward the combustion chamber. For the sake of example, however, we will demonstrate how to switch the normal orientation. In the geometry dock, click the transform button and then on the normal tab. Click on any of the green triangles that you just created and click apply. Converge Studio will flip the normal vectors of all the newly created surface triangles so that they point in the opposite direction. Repeat this process to ensure that the normal vectors point toward the combustion chamber. Make sure that the normal vectors of the triangles sealing the other gaps point toward the combustion chamber and then click the normal toggle button again to hide the normal vectors. Now that the combustion chamber is closed, you can use the compression ratio tool to calculate the compression ratio and move the piston to its bottom dead center position. Return to the case setup dock and click the engine application button. Click the compression ratio button at the bottom of this dialog box. In the multi-select boundaries around the combustion chamber section, select all of the boundaries that enclose the combustion chamber. Hold down the control key and click not assigned, piston, liner, head, spark plug, spark plug electrode, exhaust valve bottom, and intake valve bottom. In the piston boundary section, select piston. Verify that the piston moving direction field is 0, 0, 1 because the piston moves only in the Z direction. In the target compression ratio field, enter 10. Click the Refresh Current Compression Ratio and Piston Displacement button. Converge Studio will calculate the current compression ratio. When you click on the Move Piston button, Converge Studio will move the piston to attain a compression ratio closer to the target compression ratio. Repeat the process of refreshing the compression ratio and moving the piston until the current compression ratio is acceptably close to the target value. Then, click the Move to BDC button to translate the piston to bottom dead center. Close the compression ratio dialog box and click OK to close the engine application dialog box. Now that you've verified the compression ratio and moved the piston to the bottom dead center position, be sure to delete the triangles that you created to seal the gaps between the valves and the head. You can do so by using the Repair Delete section of the geometry dock. The next video will show you how to set up valve events, physical models, and grid control.